Yo, what's up guys, Val the Bal here with another Fortnite video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the long-awaited addition to cars in the game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, this has been teased since the start of Season 3, and it's kind of like one of the main reasons that people have been excited about this season. Um, unfortunately though, Fortnite decided that they were going to delay, you know, the addition of cars about a couple weeks ago, and uh, a lot of people were really bummed out about it. But they finally announced that they are going to be in the game. They've given us, you know, an exact date. Uh, before we go ahead and take a look at the details, though, if you guys could go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And let me know down in the comment section what the first thing you're going to do with cars is going to be. Give me some, like, meme strat ideas because I'd love to see them and maybe try them out in one of my live streams. So as you all know, towards the beginning of the season, you know, it, the map's been flooded. There's just been water all over the place. We've had the sharks, the boats... And there hasn't really been a lot of space for cars to be, you know, even in the game. Uh, but now that the water levels have kind of, you know, receded, and we have all these roads available now, this is like the perfect time for Fortnite to finally add the cars. So thankfully, we finally have an exact date when cars are going to be officially added to the game. Uh, it's called the Joyride Update. They've already tweeted about it on their Twitter page, and it's scheduled for Wednesday, August 5th. I'm not exactly sure what time that they're going to go live. My guess is, though, you know, most updates that Fortnite has nowadays are at either 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. Eastern. So hopefully, you know, after that downtime is over, you know, cars will be available. Now, I hope... And I pray that, you know, there isn't going to be some sort of bug that, you know, cars are going to cause where they'll have to remove them and then re-add them. You know, hopefully everything runs smoothly. Maybe now that, you know, Epic has taken all this extra time to make sure they, you know, did everything right, we won't have to worry about that. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So on the tweet, uh, they did say it's not just a name, it's a warning. Experience the hashtag Fortnite Joyride update on the 5th of August, 2020. As you can see in this picture, they kind of tease one of these new vehicles called the Whiplash. It's a new blue and red, you know, sporty roadster-like car with racing stripes, and it looks pretty cool. I was kind of surprised because I thought they were just going to take the old style of cars and just make that what we drive around in, but maybe it's just going to be this one style of car, or maybe they'll have, you know, two to three different styles, and maybe they'll give us the option to, you know, change how it looks, you know, use our wrap, I hope. So in previous leaks uh, across Twitter and, you know, Reddit, uh, the cars were said to have max speeds of around 28 to 45 miles per hour with around 500 health. I'm um, not 100% sure if that's going to be the case, but honestly, I mean, 500 health, that's that's pretty good. I feel like that's decent enough. You know, it's not too overpowered. It doesn't, I mean, it's not like the mech, like mechs had an insane amount of health, so it's not like indestructible. Um, Another really cool feature about these cars is apparently we're going to be able to farm materials with them when we ram into like trees and rocks. I don't really like that though. I feel like vehicles shouldn't have the option to farm materials. I think the only way you should be able to get that is with your pickaxe. So my guess is if that does end up becoming too overpowered, they're probably going to patch that and make it so that, you know, you can only drive around in the cars rather than farm with them as well. Now, when these cars do finally get destroyed, they explode and they do 800 damage to buildings, which will absolutely, you know, decimate any brick or, or wood builds, even metal. And they do 50 damage to players at short range and 200 at long range, according to the data mined files across Twitter. So it'll probably perform similar to the helicopter, you know, right when you destroy the helicopter, it'll do a certain amount of damage, like maybe like 50 if you're in the car. And if you're like near the car, it'll do about 200. But like I said, we're not 100% sure about these damage values, so we'll have to wait and see on Wednesday to see if that is the case. So there's a couple more pieces of information I want to share with you guys about these upcoming cars. Um, like I said, you gain metal when you do attack or damage things, and you will be able to do tire skids, so like drifting. Um, another really cool thing is you'll be able to do brake skids, and there are going to be, you know, handbrakes on the cars that are usable, which is really awesome it's gonna be it's gonna make for some really interesting content you know hopefully we'll see a lot of uh, creative races and maybe like some sort of new game mode that they can create using these new vehicles one of the coolest features about these new vehicles the cars is that you can actually eject from them as well now when you do this it does do 50 damage to you but honestly i mean maybe that's better than staying in the car and you know getting hit for like 200 if that is the case, like maybe if you stay in the vehicle while it explodes, it does like a, a massive amount of damage. Whereas if you eject, you know, 
you get out safely, but you do take a little bit of damage. If you do hit another player, uh, it doesn't damage them according to the files, but it does push them back similar to, you know, like a shockwave or an impulse grenade. Uh, but I think, I think if you ram someone off of a mountain or like somewhere high and then they hit the ground, that should cause them to take fall damage. But we'll just, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Another cool feature about these cars is you are going to have to fuel them. So they, they do take gas to run. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to have, I mean, my guess is they're going to have like a little bit of gas in the tank as, as soon as they spawn or like you get in one for the first time. Uh, but you are going to have to refuel them eventually using the gas pumps and the gas stations all over the map as well as the you know the petrol jerry cans so definitely important to i guess memorize where all those locations are if you want to make the most out of this new vehicle also for those of you interested in watching me live i do stream every single day on youtube starting at 10 a.m eastern uh, i will definitely be streaming the new car update uh, on wednesday at that time so definitely tune in and hopefully you know we can find some broken strats to use with these brand new car vehicles Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments section, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see all of you on August the 5th for the car update in Fortnite. Finally, the long-awaited Whiplash update. Alright, peace out, guys.